Yeah, Chase, so you show up at, you know, this week and find out you're Big West Player of the Week. How does that make you feel about what you guys did as a team last week? Uh, pretty well. I mean, obviously it's nice to be recognized, stuff like that, but, you know, I think those kind of rewards, um, they don't hold as much weight because they don't reflect what the team did. If you go look at, you know, my goals, they, uh, they didn't come off me, you know, doing necessarily anything spectacular it's a it was a team effort and you know I was never appreciative last year when you'd have awards that were given to specific players and those players are really benefiting from the team and you know I think it's the same case this year and so I think if you really want to give an award it has to be the rest of the team because you know between Jack O'Connor who stepped up and played a role for us you know Matt Lagrasse who dropped in the back line and played a role for us Sean Dillon you know, it, it was really something that we all put together, and I was just the fortunate one to get the end product of it. Yeah, well, this week in particular, what was the key for you for to being in the right spots and getting those goals? Um, I mean, generally our team is pretty good about creating chances. So this week I went out with the coaches um, with a couple guys and just started trying to work on our finishing and making sure that the cr chances we do create and the chances that we do get we put away. So it's mainly just – idea of soccer goal scorers around the box all the time so just get there and hope your luck falls your way and when it does make sure you put your chances away and fortunately after those trainings with some of the assistant coaches we uh we we're a little bit more com uh, confident in those areas yeah coach mentioned that he remembers seeing you as a high school kid in a camp here you know what was your recruitment like out of high school and and what options did you have and why did you end up choosing cal poly uh mine was actually a pretty interesting story coming out to cal poly i Played for a club team, and at the time it was when the transition to academy was going on. So, you know, it was known that all the better players would go play for academy. And because of my age, I had to go play up a year. And me and all the other guys from my age group, we didn't get to play much. So I dropped back down the club, and uh, a lot of people kind of looked at it as suicide. But um, we played really well on that team. I had a lot of guys that I knew that I played well with and we ended up going to a tournament called Dallas Cup and our first game there was uh, a coach there who was actually scouting us because we were playing them later in the tournament and he ended up being uh, the ex-US national team coach Steve Sampson and he uh, sought out my dad and asked kind of what my options were and what my thoughts were about continue playing and everything and once I talked to him, he said he felt like uh, it would be a great fit for me to come out here. So I came out to the camp, met Paul at the time, and, you know, really hit it off. And I really enjoyed what he was creating here and now that what Phil's uh, continuing with. So it was really a picture-perfect scenario. In particular, when you say what he was creating, I mean, was there anything that really, you know, struck you? Like, I want to be a part of this. Yeah. I mean, obviously – our recruits uh, usually come to some of the bigger games, and it's not often that you can go to a school where there's such fan support, and, you know, it's amazing. I have a lot of buddies who went and played at a lot of great schools, but they don't have that kind of same recognition that we get. And the whole idea of, you know, as he described earlier, trying to play attractive soccer, it's something that benefits me, you know. Going and playing somewhere else in college, I might not have gotten the same opportunities, same uh, <clears throat> benefits in the style of play, but here it's let, really let me come into my own as a player. Yeah. Well, how in particular does the style, you know, suit you? Um, I mean, personally, to play what he calls a track soccer, you actually have to, you know, it's, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. It's really complex, and teams can get punished for it. You know, last year we got punished a lot because we tried to do it, and we just weren't good enough at it. But uh, you have to be intelligent. You have to be, you know, smarter than the guy you're playing against. And I think that's something that has really helped me embrace a role to try and keep learning as much as I can. And at a smaller size, you have to be a little bit more deceptive. And so that kind of style benefits me is the same as you can see players on Spain or Barcelona or those kinds of teams that, you know, they're five six, five seven, but you know, they're the most dangerous people on the field. So. It's those kind of things that really benefit me as opposed to what he was talking about with a big striker. You just dump it into the areas and you have to be more athletic. So it wouldn't exactly suit some of my capabilities. Do students on campus recognize you? Do they know that you play soccer? Uh, every now and then. It's still kind of weird when they do because I've had people come up to me and, and say, you know, just, hey, Chase, and 
hi, I met you, uh, nice to meet you, stuff like that. So it's definitely weird, but it, it's happened more and more often as the season goes along as we continue doing better. Coach Ruskin talked a lot about your technical aspects, but one thing I noticed is your speed. Is that something that you're proud of? Because you look really fast on, uh, you know, when you're on the pitch. Yeah, um, it's something that I continually have to work on just because of my size. You know, it's one of the physical traits that I actually can, you know, be a little bit more dominant on the field with. And, uh, you know, credit to the weight room staff here that I actually put a lot of work into it in the off season, and it's paid off a lot. I've saw, uh, seen a lot of dividends from it. But uh, it's something that's definitely played to my advantage because, you know, bigger, you know, stronger guys, it's – it's a little easier to get around when you're a little bit quicker than them. Are your parents from Texas? Yes, born and raised. Quinlan, Texas, about 45 minutes from Dallas.